Hi, welcome to beautiful Lama Island, Pearl of the South China Sea. One way or another, we are all suffering from too much screen time at the moment. I want to share with you a project that has nothing to do with screens at all. It will find you reintroduced to old friends, namely paper and pencil, ruler and eraser, and for added excitement, we're going to use some colored pens and some graph paper. The object of this exercise is for you to make your very own word search puzzle. I've been doing these a lot lately, so let me show you what I have learned about this fun and creative process. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make a list of interesting words. I like animals, so I'm making a list of 12 wild animals that live in the forests around my home in Hong Kong. These are not just cool animals, they're also animals with great looking names. Bulbul is a bird with a great looking word as a name. I am choosing a mix of long and short names. Lanternbug is long, Gecko and her lizardy friend the Skink have short names. Once your list is complete, the next step is to look at the words and spot the letters they have in common. I'm going to use different coloured pens to circle all the vowels and the B and the K as those letters appear more than once. I am doing this to help me find ways to arrange the words in interlocking patterns. Doing this allows you to arrange a lot of words in as small an area as possible. This is the really tricky part of designing a word search, and the part I like the most. Before you do it though, you need to consider one thing. How hard do you want your puzzle to be? If you lay your words out horizontal from left to right, they will be easy to spot. Vertical, written from top to bottom, still quite easy. However, diagonal from left to right makes words hard to spot. And if you want to make your puzzle really challenging, you can write your words backwards up the page or even backwards diagonally. These words are going to be very difficult to find. For my puzzle, I don't want to make it crazy difficult, so I am not going to run the words backwards. So, pattern making. For this, I really recommend some gridded or graph paper, a pencil and an eraser. I'm not going to bore you with all the mistakes I made creating today's puzzle, but let me tell you it took me about an hour to figure out the patterns I needed. I made two word patterns and found a way to click them together, using the G in bug and the G in gecko. You can expect to make lots of changes as you work out your word patterns. This is the fun and creative part, so take your time. When I do a big puzzle, I make many versions until I'm satisfied. Next thing to consider is the shape of your puzzle. Today I know I'm making a puzzle for a video, so mine is going to be 9 squares up by 16 squares across. The word patterns I figured out fit nicely in this many squares. But typically I decide the shape of the puzzle after I have worked out the word patterns. I like to name my puzzles with a title. Luckily, across the top I can fit Hong Kong animals. I also like to sign my puzzles with my initials. Okay, this is an important moment. Right now you have the solution to your puzzle clearly displayed. Make a copy of it or take a photograph and then keep it somewhere safe where no one else can find it. Next step, fill in the gaps with random letters. I like to go around the alphabet a few times for this to make sure I represent all the letters. And now the puzzle is complete. Okay, the great moment. It's time to share your puzzle. At this point, you can make photocopies and give your puzzle to family and friends. Or you could scan the puzzle and share it digitally, though this does go against the idea of no screens. I like to turn my puzzles into artworks. You could use colored pens for this, or paint your puzzle. Here is the one that I've been working on. I went out and I photographed neon signs all over Hong Kong, and I took the letters and I made my word search puzzle out of those. Once you have made your puzzle into an art piece, why not frame it behind tempered glass so people can actually do your puzzle again and again? So I hope you found this interesting, and that you're now inspired to mystify your friends with your own word search puzzle. Thank you very much for watching.